This tutorial is going to cover the monogram wizard and the text on circle features. Let's do the monogram wizard first. Simply click on the monogram wizard icon. It's going to bring up the monogram wizard window. Here we can choose the layout of the monogram, the letters, the fonts, the color, and the frame. I'm going to go ahead and choose a monogram layout first. I have options for one, two, three, four letter monograms. Then up here I type in my letters. We're going to make it AI for Action Illustrated. Here I choose my font. I have a drop down menu of a bunch of different fonts. If I want to change the color of the font, I can do that right here. And down here I'm going to choose a frame. If I want to change my frame color I could do that right here. Once I like how it looks, just go ahead and hit OK. It's going to make my monogram and drop it right into my page as a group of objects. That way I can move it where I want resize it, rotate it. The nice thing about this is that I could also ungroup it and edit it if I needed to change the font color, size relation of the letters to frame after I have created it. Now let's cover the text on circle tool. You can only use this tool when you have an ellipse and a line of text both selected inside of Corel Draw. So I'm going to go ahead and make a circle using my ellipse tool right inside of Corel Draw. And then using my text tool, I'm going to go ahead and lay down a line of text. I'm going to go ahead and change the font of my text before I go ahead and add it to the circle. So I'm going to go ahead and hold my shift button down and select my circle. Once they are both selected, I can go ahead and click on the text on circle tool going to pop up my text on circle window. Here I can choose where I want the text to be on the circle. Outside top, inside top, outside bottom, inside bottom. I'm going to go ahead and leave outside top and hit OK. Now we have the text curving on the outside of the circle here. Before I adding any outlines to this text, I'm going to need to separate it from the circle. And to do this, I just go to Object, Break Text Apart. This is going to separate the text from the circle so I can go ahead and delete this and then make any changes to this that I want. 